Welding seemingly gives you a magical power over metal, but it's important to understand the metal you're working with for the best results. You're back with Darius. Let's have a look at the five most common you'll encounter. The most used metal in welding is carbon steel because it's affordable, compatible with all welding types and suitable to various applications. A drawback is that it can rust easily. If rust is a concern, stainless steel may be a better option because it is corrosion resistant. You'll need a specific electrode like the E308L when using suitable MIG or TIG welding. Then we have aluminium, lightweight and corrosion resistant. This metal needs a high heat input and is best tackled with a TIG or MIG welder with a special spool gun or push pull gun. With copper, you'll typically use a TIG welder with a deoxidized copper filler because copper is an excellent electrical and thermal conductor. A preheat is usually not required. On the other hand, preheating is vital if you're welding cast iron because of its high carbon content. You'll also need to make sure you're using the correct electrode, ideally a nickel-based one. Now that you're a little more familiar with the metals you can use, how do you go about preparing your material? The first step is to remove contaminants by cleaning off any oil, grease or residue with a solvent, like acetone or specialized metal cleaners. Remove rust, scale or old paint with a wire brush or grinder. Then, cut the metal to size using clamps and magnets to ensure proper fit and alignment, all available from StrikeArc. For precision cutting, use the SA Cut 40 Plasma Cutter. Keep watching this series because we'll dive deeper into plasma cutting in an upcoming video. So, continue enjoying these tutorial videos for this and other important welding topics.